Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One, two. The amount of new cases in China is actually less than the amount of cases in the rest of the world. So all those special measures and the using the mask, the extra cleaning, they're actually working. The bad news, we have to wear the mask every time we're outside. A lot of venues are still closed, but we can still have a, a pretty normal lifestyle, I would say. So today, taking advantage of the fact that a lot of people are still at home, I will go to a climbing venue. Let's learn how to climb in Shanghai. Up a tree, Uh, although I'm a beginner, I realize that there are three rules we need to pay attention while climbing. One of them, safety. Even if a coach locks you in, you need to make sure that everything is secure and safe. You don't want to fall. Number two, keep your arms straight. It's, it's very important to keep your arms straight. That's how you carry your grocery bags, for instance. It's, that's how you, that's the best way to conserve energy. And it's kind of difficult for beginners actually to do that, but we'll try. Number three, put as much weight as you, po you possibly can in your legs. You need to shift your weight around quite a bit. And the best way is put that weight on your feet and that's, that's gonna help you climb for longer. So apparently this is the tallest wall in China. Um, of course, we're gonna go to the Autobile ones, which are a little bit shorter, about 20 meters high. And it's a pretty fun event. All right, let's get the stuff out of the bag. Up a tree. Climbing. That was nice. Oh, yeah, it's really nice, yeah. A little bit scared of height. But it's, it's, it's addictive, right? I, I, I want to say hello to my mom. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> so which one are you going to try next? Uh, still the same, but we're trying to climb as high as possible. I like the fact that it's you against the wall. There's yeah. like no competition or anything. Yeah.
to do a shout out. I'll put the description or the, the address down below. It's really clean, brand new. I think I'm getting a little better at it thanks to a lot of YouTube videos, but I still have a long way to go. When you see those guys climbing, like those those pros climbing, I think they, they know what they're doing and it's, it's inspiring actually that I want to become a little better at this. It's Sunday, it's about 2 p.m. and we have a, a cool day planned. By the end of the day, we'll be trying to find a speakeasy bar in Shanghai. So stick around, let's see if we find it. How was your weekend? Fantastic. We went to a curve. This is a lot of lot of fish make us very hungry, so I just want to eat some fish. I think we're gonna eat sushi tonight. was a feast. Now we're trying to find Oji, which is a speakeasy Japanese bar. Oji is in a Roman style, with lots of men and women. Oji. No, 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 no. It's not OJI. <laughs> so we found Oji, and apparently it's been open for seven days, according to Vicky. Louis is the cameraman now. You can have it. <laughs> So what does it look like from the outside? Marble from the outside, wall. it's a marble wall. And we can tell you that it's in West Nanjing. I'm not going to tell you anything else. There's a lot of whiskey, different kinds of whiskey yes. in, in this place. To a cloud, up a tree. 